Welcome back, everybody. It is April 5th, 3.04 p.m. We've had another pretty super major earthquake down by the South Sandwich Islands region. If you guys remember, I posted a video about a 4.4 around this area here. Calling it rare. It is rare. There have been some decent quakes down there, just not in the recent future that I called it rare. Uh, this one's certainly more rare than you would expect. 6.5. Uh, registered a 6.7, 6.6 in some areas. Um, that's very hard to determine these days when the, all the switching going on. So uh, we can zoom in on this area a little bit. And you can kind of see how it's right on the islands there. Definitely felt along that entire island chain without a doubt. Um, this is our, what, fourth, fifth, or maybe even sixth, sixth um, earthquake in the past couple days. Um, areas near Bolivia are getting hit hard. We just had a 3.5 or 3.9. There you go, 3.8 hit near Parkfield, California. Very shallow quake. That may have shaken things up a bit there. Um, we had this bigger quake up by Alaska yesterday, I believe, right by the uh, Scorpion Hook. I mean, guys, the earth is moving. You cannot tell me that this is not happening. And these quakes are getting bigger in spots where they're not supposed to be as big as we're really seeing it's 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 rare i mean yes along the the southwest pacific we see big quakes all the time i don't even know how these people um can survive in this area just having massive earthquakes every day god bless them but um we got this one down here this is a different story we're close to argentina uh we got the south atlantic um fault line right there and then we got that fault line that comes off the south tip of africa and then hooks that left turn right across into Antarctica. And that is pretty much where this is meeting, all where that bunches up. So who knows what kind of movement we might get from the rest of the day after this quake. Um, I'm not sure about planetary alignments at the time. That's something you want to check out Channel Ditranium about. Uh, he's very good with that stuff or that team. If it's a team of guys, I'm not sure. Uh, but let's see. Let's check out the website really quick that I have pulled up for you. I have a few, actually. All right, so here's the global incident map. They clearly recognize the quake down here. You can see, so yeah, they're calling it a 6-6. Six, six. So this website's a 6-6. Six, six. The other one's a 5 or 6-8. Uh, but the depth has changed now. So we're at 61 kilometers, I believe, unless they recruit, they changed that to miles, and the other one was 58 kilometers. I'm not sure. And there's our 3.8 quake we just saw in California or maybe not just saw 71 minutes ago, so fairly new quake. And I haven't even looked at these yet, guys. Wow. I'm actually just waking up. Uh, we are night owls because of our uh, job, but six hours ago, 5.2. Oh, boy. Bolivia got hit again, 4.8, two hours ago. It is snowing and sleeting again. We're watching Freddy versus Jason for work. <laughs> Oh boy, and Alaska. Yes, guys, remember we had a very big quake and a possible double situation. It actually ended up being one quake. That was a 6.5 also. That one popped up on my phone as a 7.0. I wish I'd taken a screenshot, so I, I really should take that off the title because I have no proof whatsoever that that was a 7.0. Uh, but that's what I got for you guys. So um, stay safe. Be uh, earthquake ready, obviously. Even though this is down by Argentina, guys, you never know. Always be prepared for earthquakes. A very important thing to do especially on the west coast of the U.S., and we always get those randoms that come up. 4.4 in Atlanta last year. You guys remember that, 2018. It will happen again. I promise you that. Have a great day, guys. I'll be back with another update. Bye-bye.